Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury makeup and today we're going to be talking about some new items from Victoria Beckham. So on my lips, I have the new lipstick in Moody. We'll talk about that. I've got a little demo. And then I also picked up the two newest eye shades. This one here is chiffon. You can see I have been using this. So I wanted to show you what the texture looks like with it used. You can see that over here, it looks kind of crumbly. That's what the appearance looks like when it's brand new. So that'll be covering there. And then it's creamy. So when you press into it, you kind of get a little bit more of that like creamy texture here. Now, I have to say though, it you do still get like a little bit of that crumbly texture. It's a drier cream and you know, the sparkliness you know, doesn't help that essentially. But this is the shade Chiffon and let's also take a look at mirror now mirror actually my mirror feels a little bit more moist but you can see that it, it maintains a little bit more of that crackly texture to it so this is mirror you can see those little like crumblies <laughs> so i'm not really quite sure what else to, to call it uh, now, when you press those in, they, uh, you know, turn creamy so you can, can use them, but it is something that can result in a little bit of fallout. So we've got chiffon and mirror here. Chiffon, you can see, is a more of a beige champagne, kind of like a candlelight color, in my opinion. And then mirror, you can see, is a sparkling silver and it's actually a pretty neutral toned silver. I mean, silver in general, it's going to lean cool, but this is closer to neutral than many silvers are. It's not quite as blue toned or as cool as some others. So chiffon and mirror. And before we talk about these anymore, let's go ahead. Let me show you uh, what they look like on the eyes all at once. Then we've got the demo for this and the lips, and we'll come back and talk about everything. All right, so let's start off with chiffon. Look at this. So we're going to apply this to my right eye. I mean, I love this color. This is this is like a really great like everyday kind of color. You use some colored eyeliner with it to just kind of, you know, change it up a little. Let's try mirror on the other eye. All right, so here's mirror, and we're gonna put this on the left. Add a little bit more. So here's mirror. And let me show you from distance. All right, so I have on the Viseart eye primer. We're going to start off with chiffon. And this is the Westman Atelier eye brush number one. So it's the more angled one. And we're gonna go in with the brush. Let's see here. So you can see that the brush actually does not pick up a ton. Let's just try another brush real quickly, just in case, because I can feel pieces of glitter coming off when I'm using this brush. We're gonna try the Sunji Jumbo Blender. This is from the um, Kiyaki set. So let's get some pigment up here. You can see that the pigment did come up more easily on this brush. And this one is undyed goat, whereas the other is synthetic. Synthetic fibers are typically a little bit more slippery. They don't have the, like more of a roughened cuticle, essentially. And now we're gonna go into mirror. I'm gonna use the same brush. And the um, mirror shade just feels a little bit more moist than the chiffon. 
so it actually comes up a little bit more easily on the brush. So going into the inner corner and this is just softly going over chiffon to the halfway point here. All right, so there's that. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of chiffon here using the other side of the brush, although I did wipe it off. I'm just going to pat just a tiny bit right over the edges. So mirror and chiffon kind of blend nicely. So I wiped off the brush and I am just going to go in the crease a little bit with this. And I'm gonna take the Refer 03 and I'm just going to go into mirror a little bit, get some, a little bit better on the inner corner portion and just under the eye in that portion. And just something to note, the formula of these, if you haven't tried them before, they are like a little crumbly. Okay, and then the rest of the lower lash line is going to be chiffon. All right, so there's that. And then I'm just going to add one of the liners on the top. Let's see what we should use. You know what, we're gonna go in with the, the sea gray shade. And just gonna put this right on the upper lash line and smudge it a little bit. All right, so uh, there's that. And I will show you from a distance. So this is the final eye look from a distance. I added the Surat Noir Lash Tint. I think this is a really beautiful, like soft, everyday sort of holiday look. I mean, you could use it for every day, but you know, it does still have kind of that Hollywood um, holiday kind of feel to it, just on a softer version. A lot of holiday looks, you know, you've got that and you've got the, you know, more the, the golden eyes and the red lip or the golden silver eyes. And this is like a subdued version of that. But let's go ahead and try out the new lipstick also, and that might vamp it up. So this is the new Victoria Beckham lipstick for the holidays in the shade Moody. And let's see how this looks. So here's Moody. So this is Moody. It is deeper than I expected. Um, definitely, I think Moody is a good name for it. All right, so let's go over a few comparisons. First, let's take a look at the packaging. So the way these come packaged, you've got the faux tortoiseshell look for the lid, and this is glass here. These are five grams or 0.17 ounces, and when you open it up, so it's a screw on lid, you have a little um, you know, thing to keep it fresh. You wanna keep this because it does really help keep these. Now this is a different shade. This is the shade Honey. I just wanted to compare this. But um, one other thing to note about these is they are made in Italy and have a two year shelf life. So this is the shade Honey. Let's put that up here near chiffon. So you can see the difference. This one's gonna be more golden. You can see like there's more of those yellow tones compared to chiffon. And another one I wanted to compare to, this is the Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Color in Seashell. And this is actually a fairly similar texture. So here's Seashell. You can see that again, this is gonna be more golden as well. And it's gonna be a little bit lighter than Honey. Honey has a little bit more of those brown tones to it compared to Seashell, which is gonna be lighter and brighter. But you can see that Seashell is gonna lean warmer than Chiffon. Just to swatch some of the other Victoria Beckham ones I have, this one here is Tea Rose. Move this down here so you can see that. This one is Mink, and this is well, at least up until now, it has been my favorite. We'll have to see. I have to say, I really, I think chiffon and mink will look really nice together. And then this one here is blonde. And another one that I really, really like, the texture of blonde actually feels very similar to mirror, 
whereas these other ones tend to run a little bit drier. Um, Mirror and Blonde both tend, like I can feel, they feel a little bit more moist in consistency, yet they do have like the crumbliness to them still. So I don't know, I feel like these two just feel a little bit more wet slightly than these. So these are the ones that I have. I Unfortunately, I don't have a silver like this that is a cream, but let's look at some others. This is the Dior palette from the Holiday Collection in House of Dreams. You can see that's gonna be lighter, a little bit less gray in there. Let's look at this one here in Black Bow. Maybe this one's a little bit closer. You know, I have to say that Mirror, I think, is kind of in between the two of those. Although the Black Bow one does have more blue. It's a little bit cooler. And let's take a look at this shade here in Chanel's Modern Glamour. This is going to be too deep. I can already tell. Okay, yep. It's definitely more gray. It's too deep, not as sparkly. So those are going to be my comparisons for the eyeshadows. But let's also take a look at the Moody Lipstick. Now the lipstick has two grams in it and it is made in Italy. And let me just show you what this looks like. So you can see that it's going to be a deep berry shade. This is a limited edition shade and Victoria Beckham calls it her, her black tie lipstick. So one of the things, you can see how it looks a little bit lighter here right there, it's not the light. It's actually like when you put this on just a light coat, it's a little patchy. And if you uh, were looking closely in the demo, you could kind of see how it goes on a little bit unevenly on my lips. So you really need to go over it. So if you're using this purely like as a stain, you want to use something more emollient with it to kind of help spread that out. So after the demo, I actually blotted my lips a few times so that it was lighter. And then I topped it with the Tom Ford in the buff gloss, which just adds a little bit of clear shine and sparkle, essentially. You can see that there is like a shine or a sheen to this. It almost looks sparkly, but there's no glitter in it. It's just the way the light reflects off of it. But unfortunately, this one is just a little bit patchy, in my opinion. Now, I don't have that many comparisons, um, but this one here is the only Chantecaille berry I have. This one is Hyssop. And this is one of the lip cheeks that came out with the, the Butterfly collection. So we've also got a couple of Chanel ones here. This one is 117 or Cuivre, which is from the holidays last year. You can see that's definitely gonna be more red. And unfortunately, I think that's gonna be my problem with most of my lipsticks is they're gonna have more red. This one here is 137 Porpora Door. And although it is more purpley, it's still got way more pink in it than Moody. This is one of the Rouge G Satin Lipsticks in number 81, which again is going to end up having too much red in it, but you can see it is more plum based, but it's a, a redder plum versus a more, more bluish. And then my last comparison is another Guerlain Rouge G. This is in the Velvets. This is 910. So we're going to put this one right here next to it. You can see that's really more of a deep red. And then just for comparison, this is the Rouge Coco Gloss from Chanel in number 816. I think it's called like Rouge Noir or something. I don't remember. Um, this came out at the holidays a couple of years ago. You can see that that's really going to be a deep eggplant purple. This one actually has a lot more blue in it. It's almost black. It's like that purple black, but it's going to have more blue in it than the moody shade, which has a touch more red than that. So those are all of my comparisons for the eyes and the lips. Now onto my thoughts. I have to say the Victoria Beckham Lid Lusters, I really like these products. They can have some fallout. They can be a little bit crumbly when you're putting them on, but I just think that they have such a beautiful appearance on the eye with the sparkle and, you know, I think they're gorgeous. So I really like them. I'm very happy with both of these new shades. I have to say, you know, I, I really like them. 
I think chiffon is a perfect like everyday shade. I think I'll be wearing that one probably more frequently than mirror. I really like them combined together and I think they're going to play really well with other shades from her line as well. So I would definitely recommend the Lid Lusters. The lipstick I think is a really nice shade. I love the formula of her lipsticks. I think they're very nice, uh, especially for a clean beauty lipstick where for me, a lot of clean beauty brands, not all of them, but a lot of them have more of that pasty or like there's a little bit, because they don't use silicones, you know, there's a little bit less drag on your lips. This is still pretty smooth and creamy and I love the sheen that you get with these. This particular shade I find to be just slightly patchier and even in application. So I feel like it's one that you really kind of want to pair with a gloss. And I don't have her gloss, but you know, using a, a nice clear gloss I think works really well with this. It is a little bit harder than I anticipated to get more of a light wash or a light stain on the lips with this, but that's not really the intent of this particular shade. This is meant to be like in your face. So I would say that this is, I would say this is okay. Like I like the color. I like how unique it is. But again, I think the formula on this one, maybe it's just mine. It could be like a batch issue or something, but I do feel like it's a little bit patchy. So I, I would give that, I would say this one's like, okay. So those are my thoughts on these items. I hope this was helpful. Keep in mind that Victoria Beckham is doing 20% off on her site for Black Friday. So site-wide, so you can get all of these things on sale, but take a look at the gift section on her page first because she has bundle options and getting an additional discount on top of that would be fantastic. So definitely take a look at that. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please let me know what you think of these, if you've tried them or if you're planning on trying them. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate it. See you very soon. Have a great day.